I am Colonel Rohit Chaudhary. I am Chairman of ex servicemen Department of Haryana Congress. And I have come here to attend the 85th plenary session of Congress Party. And I have been part of uh, Bharat Yatra. I've traveled almost 650 kilometers plus from Haryana border to uh, Srinagar. And we have seen that people all along have been aggrieved of the policies of BJP. Especially, I'll talk about uh, the ex servicemen. The ex servicemen community is very much annoyed with the uh, with the BJP dispensation because they are uh, they are playing with the national defence policy and uh, they have brought in Agnivir Agnipath scheme. This is detrimental to the defence uh, setup of the nation. And for in four years, I don't expect any soldier to become specialist. I think uh, after about a uh, few years, five, six years from now, you will not find a uh, well, very well trained soldier to fire a button of the missile or anything else because we are technology driven army. Secondly, it has, uh, it has impacted the quality of uh, the person, the recruits which we were taking. And uh, this will not be the first priority for any of the person. Like I am a fourth generation uh, person in the Defence Forces. We come by tradition. When uh, we come by tradition, it is an employment plus tradition for us to join Defence Forces and to work for the nation. Simultaneously, when a uh, lot of people with Defence background used to come, they used to take pride. Now, if you relegate them to just four years service, probably it is not the right choice. And people, those who are wanting uh, to, uh, youngsters, those who are wanting to uh, serve the nation, and you plan to throw 75% of them out after four years, probably this is not the right way. And especially for defense forces like us, we are, a, we are a, an occupational army which is facing two uh, hostile neighbors on our western and eastern front. So we cannot compare ourselves and we cannot become a contractual army what, uh, what Americans are doing. Their borders are safe. They are sending contractual people to fight in uh, Vietnam, to fight in uh, Afghanistan or somewhere else. We are, we are guarding our nation. We are guarding the boundaries of our nation. And as far as the employment is concerned, this is a very big dent on the employment of our youth. Our country is having uh, an average age of uh, 32 years. It's a young country. Everybody has aspirations. We want jobs. Nobody is talking of jobs. There is a state-sponsored terrorism. I must say there is a state-sponsored terrorism by uh, which has been unleashed on the uh, on the population or on unleashed on the uh, especially targeting the opposition parties yesterday we have seen mr pavan khera he was deplaned what for this is not the way uh, the defense or uh, the police has to function there is no fir you want to terrorize people. You are unleashing uh, enforcement directorate, ED, which has done almost about 95% cases in last uh, five years or six years. They are just targeting uh, opposition leaders or they are not doing their regular job. They have been designed to do, find out the uh, corrupt people in the society, corrupt uh, people in the in the governance business and anywhere which is their prime job you can't unleash them to terrorize the, uh, the political parties you cannot terrorize people by cbi this is what you are doing this is an institutionalized uh, terrorism i must say so this is this has to stop the country has to wake up people of india have to wake up rahul ji undertook yatra to unite people 
because there is a there is an overall perception that there is a hatred in the society you are targeting we left religion caste culture creed in 47 when we got independence and our ancestors have built our nation by leaving all these things behind and now for last 8 9 years from 2014 onwards we are facing the same thing we are talking of polarized society we are talking of religion we cannot talk of religion in 2023 in the 21st century it is a retrograde step so overall i want to summarize that congress party is the principal opposition party they have to fight for the cause of people employment uh, defense uh, system of the country and all societies are uh, aggrieved all sections of uh, the societies are aggrieved so congress party is doing their job by formulating policies how to move forward and i am sure the nation wants independence of expression and they want safe nation which only congress can which only congress can uh, you know provide to the people of india and let's unite people against the wrong policies of bjp the central government and let's fight rahul ji we are with you you are crusader you have taken the mashal you take it we are following you thank you very much thank you sir